Hello friends, this is Raj Sastri from Raj Option Trading. Today is Feb 19, 2022. Uh, so many of you asked me what's a great soft stock scanning software. One of my uh, one of the go-to stock scanner software I use is Finviz Elite. Um, and I also use other um, stock scanning software like Stock Rover, like Trading View, and a couple more. Today I will look at Finviz and do a quick product review. Uh, it's one of the simple stock scanning software. So with that in Finviz Elite, as you can see here, you get a good cursor view of uh, how are the indices doing on a daily basis or on a longer time, time frame. And you can also look at a quick overview of sector map and see what sectors are hot, what stocks are hot. You can also change this by time frame. You can say, I want to see one day or one month or one year and so on and so forth. And you can also, in a, in a bird's eye view, you can look at what stocks are doing well, what are, what are top gainers and what are top losers. It's a you know, very good uh, landing page where you get a good view of what's going on in the stock market. So with that, um, as you compare Finviz Elite and Finviz Free version, look, when it comes to subscription, the free version, as the name says, it's free. You don't need to pay any money. It's available for you. But Finviz Elite comes with the $39 per month, or you could pay one year fee, which is $299, which brings your monthly fees to $24.96. And from a platform perspective, it's a browser-based platform. There is no app, you know, when it comes to your iPhone or, um, you know, Android type, there is no app there. It's a browser-based uh, software. And from a timing perspective, if you're in a free, free version of the software, there's a 15-minute delay in your stock codes. But if you're in a Finviz 8 version, there's a real time, only a few seconds delay. And, you know, one of the best features within the Elite, you get to watch the pre-market action from 8 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. Eastern. Also, you get to watch the post-aftermarket um, data between 4 p.m. and 5.30 p.m. Eastern. Many folks like to watch their favorite stocks after the, after the market or before the market opens and get ready for the next day or the same day. One of the important features here is ability to customize your view. When it comes to the free version, you you, you got to stick with the basic um, um, view that Finviz provides. But if you have an elite version, you can customize and you can select few attributes or few columns that you really want to see versus their canned view. And if you're in a uh, Finviz Elite version, you can customize your filter. For example, you might want to know market cap from $1 billion to $10 billion. You can do that. Or you might want stocks with uh, worth $1 to $20. You could do such customized filters within Finviz Elite, which is one of the great uh, features. Whereas in the free version, you cannot customize the filters. You get to stick with the existing filters that comes with Finviz. And from a fundamental chart perspective, in Finviz free, you are not able to see the yearly revenue, the quarterly revenue charts, and the stock's outstanding and earnings per share and how it's doing over the years, over the quarters. You cannot see those things in the free version. But if you're in Finviz Elite version, you could see stocks outstanding, the revenue, earnings per share, both on a yearly basis as well as quarterly basis. I like this feature very much. It's one of the good feature. And last one is really advertisements. If you are in a free version, you get the annoying advertisements. If you like Finviz um, a lot, I say don't stick to free version. You know, go get a um, elite version. It's not too much money, just two ninety nine dollars per year. It's worth it. And last but not least, I did not uh, mention here. If you are an elite member, you could download um, the data uh, easily. If you're a um, free member, you can only download the custom, uh, the, the standard view that Finviz provides. It's really annoying. You cannot really download the data properly. You get to download maybe 20 or 30 rows at a time, which is really annoying. But in the Finviz Elite version, you can download the entire data set, you know, which is around 4,000, 5,000 uh, stocks at one shot. And um, that, that's a great uh, one. 
if you're a data junkie like myself, you would love FinWiz Elite because you, because you can download all the data and do the analysis in your own Excel spreadsheet. You can combine the data with other data sources and come up with the great insights. <clears throat> with that, what we'll do now is we'll go into the website of FinWiz uh, Elite and look at the features. So with that, let me jump in here and go to the website. <clears throat> look, uh, you can go into elite.finwiz.com. As you can see here, you will be shown a, a view like this. As you look here, top of the view page here, you got various things going on here. You got how are the indices doing, how is Dow Jones doing, how is uh, NASDAQ doing, and how is S&P 500 doing. As you see here, you will see by this is a one day chart as you can see here it tells you you know various time frame here 10 a.m 11 a.m how is the dow jones industrial average doing <clears throat> and same story here one of the things i always look at is how, how are the advancing stocks and declining stocks are doing if you see here there's a good uh, chart here that tells you 28 percent advanced advancing and 67 percent declining that tells you stock market is really not doing great breadth is not good today is not a great uh, day for uh, you know for at least uh, you know for uh, for many investors but if you are a long-term investor this is your time you could buy some great great stocks and then you can see here, uh, we got various things going on here. You see here top stocks, for example, top gainers, and you got new high, as you can see here, overbought, unusual volume. You get a good snapshot of what's going on here. So on this side, on the left-hand side here, you get a good snapshot of what's going on here, mainly gainer. And as you look through the right-hand side, you get the top losers and most volatile and new low and so on and so forth. So in a bird's eye view, you get a very good snapshot. And then you can, as you can see here, you can also look at uh, what's going on when it comes to the sector. Look, we got various uh, sectors here. And if you're interested in this, you could click on this. It will bring up a nice view as you can see here. So here you can look at the nice map. I like this view very much. Right now, by default, you are going into one day performance. But, you know, I, I like uh, maybe a one month performance. I can go here and say one month performance. Look. Apple is doing good, uh, just up 1.70% in um, one month, whereas Microsoft is down, Google is down, NVIDIA is down. You got a good idea what's going on. So if you want even a bigger time frame, you could go and say, I want to see what's going on in one year as an example. And you get a nice chart here. Look, Disney is down in one year. Intel is down big time. And I also like to see the way it tells you all the stocks related to NVIDIA. Uh, you get a good idea what's going on in the chip sector. What are the good players there? How are they doing on a one year basis? I like this very much. It's a nice you know, bird's eye view on what's going on here. So with that, um, you know, you could uh, look at the you know, full world view as an example. Uh, you get entire Canada, Bermuda, so on and so forth. Look, Accenture is in Ireland. Who knew? By looking at this, you know what's going on and uh, what stock is in what country at the high level. Look, China, Alibaba is down, as you can see here, in a one-day performance. But if you don't like one day, you knock yourself off here, say one month, sorry, one year. So in one year, look, Alibaba is down big time. And most of the Chinese stocks, as you can see here, down big time, probably with the exception of few like Petro China. So this is how you get a good idea. But if you if you want to look at maybe full, uh, you could look at full here and look at the full chart, not just uh, S and P 500. You could also look at the exchange traded funds or ETFs as you call it, and you could say I want a one year performance of ETF. You get the good idea here on a yearly basis. Look, inverse stocks or inverse ETFs are not doing great here. But as you look here, the leverage ETFs on the positive side, they're doing well. So you get a good idea here. When the stock market drops off very well here, you could buy some of these uh, leverage ETFs versus inverse ETFs. On the other hand, if stock market is uh, up big time, uh, then you can buy some inverse ETFs like SQQQ. And when stock market tanks, you could make some big money. So if you just change it to one day as an example, look, situation is changed here. 
on a one day basis on Friday. Look, SQQQ, which is inverse ETF of uh, QQQ, did very, very well when the stock market tanked. So you get a bird's eye view of what's going on. I like to use it very much. So now what we'll do is we'll go back to the home view here and uh, explore our journey. And look, I also look at many of the things here. Look, it tells you from a ticker perspective, trend line support, trend line resistance. You get to see what are the technical indicators, you know, and uh, which stocks are really, you know, having these signals here. That's a very good bird's eye view here. And you can also look at more indicators as you can see here. And you can also see what stocks are making a major news today. As an example, Cisco, earnings announcement stock went higher. I also love the way Finviz tells you, gives you a small chart right there. I think it's very useful here. I like this type of uh, balloon help or a just-in-time stock chart here. You know, that's, uh, you know, Finviz gave so much importance to simplicity and uh, making it intuitive. I like that view very much here. Look, I click on Google. Google down big time you know I kind of use this it tells me on a yearly basis how is Google doing it's a very good indicator I use it very much look Roku big time tank you can see here and also you can look at here and see okay you know what these stocks are tanking big time Roku big time down and then as you see here there are uh, big news coming up here you can see the big news what's going on here stocks fall bonds raise that's a good to know and then you can also look at any economic releases and you can look at the earnings release you know look we got few earnings release releases here um, and you can look, take a look at those and one thing i use very much is um, insiders what they're doing look here we got few insiders here uh, cloudflare matthew prince is the ceo uh, looks like he's selling his own share and he's selling a lot look here five million shares uh, I think he's uh, selling it uh, two, two times, 16th and 17. You know, that lets me think a little bit, actually three times, as you can see here. That, uh, you know, I look at these things and see, okay, is it worth uh, for me to buy now or sell now? Do some research on Cloudflare as an example. And same story, we got more things here. Look, um, when it comes to uh, DNB, insiders are buying big time, 433 million shares, a million dollars worth share. That tells me, you know what, it, I should look into this one here. And next one is Asana. I had been watching Asana here. Looks like founder and CEO, uh, Dustin, he's been buying Asana, you know, very, very, very big quantities. It's uh, worth noting those things here. And also a few others where, uh, you know, insiders are selling, as you can see here. That tells me what's going on here. So that's a you know, very good uh, view of uh, the front page itself. Wealth of information, I use it very much. And next, we'll look at uh, news here. You know, this is one thing that Finviz does very well. Look, it tells you in a bird's eye view what's going on in the market. I get up in the morning or in the night time, I look at a good uh, view, take a good view at this, and it gives me a good idea. Look, uh, there are some news about uh, Russia, what's going on there, real estate. If I like something, I can, I can click on it and read through the news item here. And next is Screener. This is where uh, Finviz excels. They got a very good screener, as you can see here. And uh, this, is, this is where the simplicity comes in. Typically, what I love to do is I love to look at uh, all. There is a descriptive, fundamental, technical, all. So normally, I look at all here. So that way, I get a good bird's eye view. And, you know, it's an Excel-like functionality. You know, many softwares, it's uh, difficult to filter. You got to understand how the how the software works. Whereas here with Finviz, they make your life easy. As an example, you know, many times, I, I, you know, I don't like to look at very, very small cap stocks. I say you know, when the market is tanking big time, you know, I use this custom filter here and say I want to look at stocks which are $1 billion and more. Look, Finviz already gave me those names here. I get all the stocks with $1 billion or more. And then I say, you know what, I like to look at uh, stocks where price is more than $10. So I can, I can go here and say I want stocks which are more than $10, over $10. Look, I got those already here. Very simple. And then I might say, you know what, I like to look at, uh, you know, I like to look at stocks where there is a nice sales growth. I always love stocks with sales growth here. I can look at uh, sales growth. Look, there is a five-year sales growth. 
uh, there's a quarter over quarter uh, EPS growth and sales growth. I say I want, at least I want <clears throat> over 10% or I say I like uh, over 20% uh, sales growth. I can use that. Uh, now the list is even filtered down. These are great companies. Then one of my favorite filter, as many of you know, is gross margin. I love stocks with nice gross margin, at least uh, more than 40%. I can say I want stocks with more than 40% gross margin. Uh, look, I can go here and over over 35 percent if you're an elite member you could uh, pick your own uh, percentage here that's where the customization or a custom filter comes into play in here i'm good with the over 40 percent and look uh, 35 over 40 there you go over 40 percent now i'm even getting the quality candidates and sometimes you know especially during this time i like net margin positive companies i can come here you know what i want net margin positive greater than zero there you go now i even get a smaller list, list here so you know this is how you know i like to um, look at the stocks here and one more thing i always use is um, current volume i typically want current volume at least uh, you know more than uh, 1 million if i'm doing the research after the market is closed when the market is um, up uh, i might do over 500k so you say 500k you get liquid stocks as you can see here and many times i'm i'm not in mood for etfs um, i might say you know what i don't want any etf and go to the industry and just say stocks only no um, funds so that will take all the funds away and give me only the stocks and sometimes I'm in a mood for technology stocks. I can come in here and say, give me all great technology stocks. There you go, technology. I get all my technology stocks and I could look at those. And one more thing I always do for most part, especially these days here, I'll say any for now, is uh, you know to look at the market cap. I want to look at big market cap stocks. I, I say, click on the market cap here. Look, you can click on any of these things. It will sort quickly. Look right now with this criteria here, Microsoft is a top player and um, look, they're doing very well here. So sales growth is over 20%. So if I drop some of these things, for example, sales growth, instead of 20%, I say over 10%. I might look at Apple. Apple came now, they got a little bit lesser sales growth. That's why it did not come earlier. So this is my go-to type, um, you know, go-to uh, screener here with uh, these uh, things here. I always make sure I get a good quality company, net margin positive, price is over $10, gross margin is good over 40%, sales growth is also good, and current volume is over 500K. You know, sometimes, especially these days, I pay attention to price to sales ratio. So as you see here, you can look at price to sales ratio here, price to earnings and various uh, things here. I say price to sales ratio less than under 10. So these days I look at this one here. I don't want the uh, high valuation companies, especially in this market here. I can say, you know, for, because I got various stocks here, I can say under maybe say 15. So I go to custom here just to um, go on the custom side here. And I say uh, price to sales, um, say uh, highest is 15. I could just put 15 over there. Now get everything under 15. So what I do is I typically, you know, uh, if you are a FinWiz free version member, you get to see this view here. And if you want more information, you get to click on valuation. Look at that over there. Look at financials. You look at the financial, you get, you know, all your dividend, ROA, ROE, and so on and so forth. Then you could look at performance. You get uh, one week, one month, so on and so forth. But, you know, I, I don't like clicking back and forth. Um, you know, that's why I, I, I'm an elite member. I go to uh, customize my own view. Look here, I customized my own view. You, you get to choose what you want. You know, you know, in this elite version, they will tell you, hey, what do you want to see? Here I say, I want to see number that tells you number on top here. I want to see ticker, company, so on and so forth. If you want something more, you can uh, click on it. It will show that also in your view. Right now, I kept it simple. For example, I want to see target price. I uh, just click on it. That tells me right there, I get my target price right here. I want to see RSI here. I just click on RSI. Boom, I got my RSI. Uh, where is the RSI here? Um, 
right here as you can see here and i might want some more things you know typically i like to look at uh, float chart or chart ratio there you go i got my chart ratio right here and i'll typically i'll always love to see gross margin there you go got it and i like to see you know sales i could look at um, sales as you can scan through here sales growth um, right here sales growth quarter over quarter boom i got my sales growth quarter over quarter here so that's that's the benefit of the elite member here you get to choose and normally i like to look at performance especially performance one year and i like to see how the stock is doing you know is it uh, you know doing well how much uh, down down it is from 52 week high so i say i can uh, go in here and say 52 week high so it tells me as you look here apple uh, right now it's a uh, uh, it's a down 8.55 percent from 52 week high so you got a good idea normally i like to look at things like debt to equity ratio that tells me how is the debt level for example apple they do have a little more higher debt in the long term and sometimes i you know i'm not so happy just with the debt to equity in the long term i might look at a quick ratio so as you look through here um, as you look through quick ratio that tells you do they have liquidity in the short term for example here i get my quick ratio uh, look i got my uh, quick ratio here apple Quick ratio is one they can easily meet their long-term obligations higher the better so like this you know you can um, pick and choose what you want that's one of the benefit of finviz elite um and uh, you know sometimes i'm in a mood you know what uh, i just want a data dump i might say you know what i want all these things i can click 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 it will give me everything all these uh, fields are added here as you can see here then I could download all these things and take it to some Excel spreadsheet. And once I get all these records, all these uh, in things here, I could just go here and go to my favorites area here and go download this whole thing. As you see here, I can say export. It will basically export this whole thing into a spreadsheet here. If you are a free version member, um, then you got to download maybe 20 or 30 one time just the, the standard view here you can do custom view that's one of my favorite things i like to you know just uh, download um, the data and do some analysis within uh, excel spreadsheet to keep it simple i will uh, remove some of the things you know one thing i don't like in finviz i cannot move these columns if i want country over here i cannot move it that's one of the limitation here you you know all the placement of the column is standard you cannot move them so with that, I will remove certain things. We can uh, look at some of these uh, data properly and uh, go from there. So I will remove price to cash, price to book, um, price to free cash, dividend yield, and so on and so forth to make the view a little easy to consume. There you go. We get uh, you know, a little more uh, smaller view here. And um, I think that uh, works here. Let's uh, go from there. Let me remove country. I don't need to see country all the time. I don't need to see industry all the time. There you go. So we get the view here. You know, the price always comes somewhere here. Sometimes I like to see price down here. You cannot move the things around. That's one of the limitation of Finviz on the column placement. You can't have, you can't decide where you want your column. If I were the person, I want to see price right in the beginning here before market cap, but you cannot pull uh, and customize uh, the placement in Finviz. That's one of the drawback. So, you know, this is one of my favorite, uh, you know, uh, way. And once you're happy with these uh, settings, you can just say settings that will go away as you can see here. Now we get your stock here as you can see. So this is a very pow powerful um, view. I like to, you know, see this. Uh, I, I use it all the time. Very simple. <clears throat> That's the screener. So, and now you kind of decided what you want. For example, Apple is tanking, but it's a stable company. I want to see what's going on with Apple or maybe not Apple. Let's say we want to look at J&J. So I click on J&J here and look, I get a nice view. It tells me J&J on a one year basis. How is the stock doing right now? Stock is down as you can see here. And it also gives you some um, some uh, charts and some lines here uh, from a trend perspective. And you also see here 50 day moving average, which is the brown line here. You get your um, 
200 day moving average light brown brown right here and a 20 day moving average and also you see rsi here and right now it's oversold that's when i buy some of these quality stocks and if you're not happy with the daily view you want a longer term view you could click on weekly here that tell, gives you a very big view here now we are looking at uh, 2019 all the way to 2022 longer time frame and if you're not happy with the just a uh, couple of years uh, three or four years you could click on a monthly view it tells you even longer term view look when you are a long-term investor look at the weekly and monthly view and then make decision when the stock is still weak right now and you can buy for long term it tells you jng is a bullish stock here they're doing great but if you say daily view here you might wonder what's going on here the stock is not doing well i don't want to buy jnj in those scenarios always click on monthly view here you know what's going on in the long term that tells you it's a great time to buy some jng right now and then as you look through here you know rich text rich data here i use this all the time you can see how is the short ratio how is the you know market cap income and look here it tells you are the insiders buying or selling it tells you insiders are selling slightly and uh, institutions are buying j and j as you can see here it tells you what the ownership level inside the institutions more importantly i love these charts as you can see here it tells me look uh, from an earnings per share perspective on a on a yearly basis stock is doing pretty okay here it's a the company is making money as you can see here i like to see positive earnings per share companies and it's pretty stable here sales perspective this company doing good in sales no issues shares outstanding is pretty common uh, pretty uh, flat here to down that tells you stock is uh, doing very well on a long-term perspective then i like to see how is the stock doing from a um, analyst perspective look it tells me analysts right now goldman is saying neutral and uh, we got here citigroup saying buy target price of uh, 195 and the current stock price is around uh, say 163 gives me a good idea what's going on and how is the upgrade downgrade and over here you can see stock twitter uh, all these tweets coming from stock stock twitter i sometimes take a look at this uh, you know it doesn't change my investing um, horizon but i just look at it sometimes but most importantly i, I love this news here it kind of gives you very good news item if you go to finance.yahoo.com you get all kind of garbage but here you get a curated news here i like to read some of these things when i get it, when i get some time and then look here um, very nice overview of the company and this is one of my favorite sections here it tells me how we, what's going on here i can click on um, either annually annual and look at the trend here look there's a small you know icon here i can click on this and look at the trend from a yearly perspective look uh, all these things are balloon help i like it very much sometimes you know i like to look at uh, quarterly i click on quarterly here I get to see quarterly revenue. Look, revenue is doing well on a quarterly basis. I see how are their R&D or research and development. They're putting money into R&D. That's always good. Uh, sorry, right here. They're putting money into R&D. And also look at their net income. That's uh, doing pretty okay. You get a you know good idea in a bird's eye view. And you could, uh, you could also see the diluted share look diluted shares is pretty constant here company not diluting that's a good story here and then you get to see insider buying and selling nicely here look insider uh, looks like uh, we got uh, some insider option exercise going on here uh, you know, nothing big here no big deal here and you know that's the bird's eye view i like this view very much um, and it's a very good um, you know snapshot as you can see here <clears throat> then i can go back to my scanner view as usual and go on the screener here and look at my custom view and sometimes you know i like to compare you know i i'm not just happy with the looking at one by one like this here but uh, let me also click on my market cap here look at the big market cap on top here there you go i get my apple on top that's good so sometimes you know i like to look at uh, things a little more closely so that's when i go into snapshot section or even chart section if i click on chart here look i got a nice view here look i see apple not doing so great right now maybe good time to buy 
Microsoft is even weaker. I can kind of get a good idea of what's going on here, what may be good to buy. I also look see here RSI tells you how much uh, stock is oversold. I might, you know, by looking at this chart, I might say, you know what, Apple, maybe let's wait a little bit. But Microsoft is a good buy. It's RSI 37. I know it's a good stock. You get a good idea of what's going on here. I use this very much. <clears throat> then as you look through here, you could uh, look at a snapshot view. I also look at uh, this snapshot view very frequently. It tells you, you know, snapshot, look, I get the chart here, I get key statistics here, I get news here, and what the company is doing, and next, you know, it's a, it's a good bird's eye view. I like this view also very, very, very much. So that's about the screener. I like uh, this screener very much. And then you could look at the charts. I think we looked at, looked at the charts. It's a very good charting software here. You, could, you get to see various things. Look at RSI. If you want to add something else, you could add them also. You could uh, draw your own trends here. You could say, you know what, what's going on here? You could uh, draw some lines as you can uh, you know, see here. And uh, you know, go from there. So it's uh, very versatile that way. And uh, you, you get to do a lot of things you know, with the charts here. And if you're not happy with the, this chart here, I can uh, see if I can get rid of, get rid of this here. Um, so if you're not happy with the, you know, uh, with the, a um, one day type view here, you can go and say weekly view. Uh, you can get a weekly view picture here. So that's why it's very versatile here. And you could uh, choose various shapes uh, to draw some pictures here and go from there. <clears throat> That's about the chart view here, which is uh, very versatile. You get to see even a minute chart, as you see here, three minute chart, five minute chart, 15 minutes, and so on and so forth, as you see here. So I typically look at this uh, either the either a one day chart, or I might even look at one month and uh, you know say weekly or monthly to see how is the long term picture here. And sometimes I'm a, I might look at shorter term, but ma mainly I use, um, you know, say hourly, daily, weekly type charts. Weekly, um, daily and weekly are my favorites. So with that, that's about charting here. And next we can look at a few more things here. <clears throat> you can also, you know, go in here and look at the maps, which is uh, one of my favorite things to do. We looked at, we talked about this already. You get to uh, pick your uh, maps. Next is a group. You might see what's going on by sector. Look, by sector, it's saying one day, how is it going? Consumer defensive, you know, just slightly up here. There's communication services. This is where stocks like Facebook, Pinterest, and so on and so forth are done big time. Then it tells you how is it doing weekly basis and uh, monthly basis. You get a good idea how are the various sectors doing. And you could also change if you don't want sector, you want industry, you get to pick and choose what you want to see. It tells you one day and um, say weekly and so on and so forth. And you might say, what? I'm not an industry guy. I want to look at, uh, you know, just technology. I love technology. You could say technology and see how is technology doing. Um, it tells you, um, you know, how is the technology industry doing, as you can see here various uh, industries within technology and how are they doing. So, <clears throat> so that's the that's, uh, you know, groups area here. Uh, you could uh, also look at by capitalization as you see here. And now uh, we get large cap, small cap, how are they doing on a yearly, year to date and so on and so forth. And next is the portfolio. You know, if you have a portfolio that you're tracking, you could uh, add them here. I have a portfolio, I named it Big ETF. And it tells you how, how it's doing. And I got some date that I bought here. It tells what's my gain, what's my loss. You know, it's a good way to you know, create a small portfolio uh, and watch uh, how it's doing. And next to the insider here, it tells you how are the insiders, are they buying or selling. Here in a nutshell, by looking at it, I can see, you know what, Cloudflare, mm, not, not great, a lot of selling going on with the CEO here. And I might look at this and see, okay, where are the buy going on here? Look, we got one buy here, RSG, which is one of my favorite company. Waste management looks like an insider. Che, you know, as you see here, 10% owner is buying big time here. I might buy along with this uh, big time owner here. Look, Mark Benioff is selling, um, you know, um, CRM, salesforce.com. You know, I might look at some of these things and do some more research based on that. 
And then you've got futures here. You know, typically, you know, in the morning or in the evening, I might see how, the, how are the futures doing. For example, Dow Jones future, it's uh, down even after the market. It came down further. Um, so I might look at these things to see how is the market doing. It gives a bird's eye view. How is uh, NASDAQ doing? How is uh, S&P 500 doing? Even, you know, after the market is closed or before the market is open. So then I might look at, uh, you know, even the quotes, or you can look at performance, you can look at charts, and so on and so forth. It tells a good view of charts here, of various um, uh, futures, uh, futures here, as you can see here. And then you got Forex. If you're a Forex guy, you can look at your favorite U Euro USD, how it's doing, USD JPY. You could even see your Bitcoin, as you can see here. And you could uh, you know buy them or sell them. Look at the chart here. If you want to see one of the chart, you know you can look at uh, one of the chart. Open it up. Same interface that you're used to. Nice chart. Um, you could look at see and what's going on here. If you're a crypto guy, you might say you know, I want to look at crypto here. You got various uh, assortment of cryptos here. You could uh, look at them and uh, you could uh, click on them and see what's going on here. You might say I mean. Ethereum guy, you could click, click on it to see what's Ethereum doing here. Looks like right now it could be a good time to buy slowly and accumulate. And then you got backtest. If you're a backtest type of a guy here, you could go here. Look, I created a few backtests as you can see here. You could create a new backtest and see, you know what? I'm a big NVIDIA guy. NVIDIA is part of Russell 1000. Say I want to backtest NVIDIA, NVDA, and I could put my symbol here, NVDA. And I might, I might say, you know what, I want from 1996. Let's change it. I don't want to see from 96. I want to say from uh, 2000, uh, 2000 or so. Let's go here and change the time here. All right. I want to see from um, 2000 here. Um, and I want, to, I want to go by relative strength index. Whenever relative strength index on a 14-day basis, um, if it is uh, indicator value is less than 40 or say um, say 35 or 40 is good number. If whenever it's less than 40, I want to buy and I want to sell. Um, you know, uh, I want to exit when the RSI is over say 70. So that way, this is my strategy. I want to back test and see what's going on with this strategy. I could say run back back test here <clears throat> and look it's uh, coming up with my testing results coming up with benchmark so if you do nvidia buy only when rsi is uh, less um, and sell when rsi is over 70 look uh, rsi less than 40 we buy rsi less than um, you know um, becomes more than 70 which is over bought you sell it if you did that you had nice 133 uh, percent return this is how you do back testing. You could uh, you could add other criteria and uh, make it more beefier. Um, I say you know this is not a great back testing software, but you get to run your simple back testing within uh, within Finviz Elite here. And then if you click on Elite here, it tells you a nice uh, you know tells you how much uh, what are the features. It kind of gives a good um, you know bird's eye view of various things you can do with the Elite. And also it compares, as you see here, with the, the features of elite versus non-elite. <clears throat> and also it tells you, you know, you can, uh, you know, you can uh, update, you can cancel your account and so on and so forth. And, uh, you know, and one more thing I always do, I go to screener here or home. And then you could say here, you could say, you know what, I want to look at few trends. You know, I'm a big uh, technical guy. So you can say here, you know what, I want to look at all the new highs. So I can say new high, it gives me all the new highs. I might sort it by market caps. There you go. You get all my new highs with the big market caps like Coca-Cola is a new high. I did not know that. And you might say, you know what, I'm a technical guy. I want to look at uh, reverse head and shoulders. That's my go-to strategy. You could uh, click on reverse head and shoulders. You get all the stocks with the reverse head and shoulders. Look, cumin here. Click on cumin, reverse head and shoulders. As you can see here, you could take advantage, buy some cumin, which is one of my favorite stock. And you might say, you know what? I'm not happy with the inverse head and shoulder. I'm a big time um, short type uh, person. I want to look at head and shoulders and short the stock. 
could go to head and shoulder here and see Abbott Labs, one of my favorite stock. Looks like it's a head and shoulder company's tanking. You can uh, take some position in, in such scenarios. I would not bet against Abbott, but uh, by looking at the technicals, if you decide to do it, you can do that way. And you know, easily you could uh, look at various uh, things here. You might say, I want to look at the stocks with the recent insider buying. It just tells you all the stocks with recent insider buying. And look, we got uh, Blackstone, which is one of my favorite, favorite stock here. And then if you want to know how, ins how much insider bought, you could click on it and go right down here uh, and go right down and see here, we got Director Porat Ruth um, buying uh, their own stock, but the quantity is, uh, amount is not too much as you can see here but it's a buy and you got some more buy from a 10 person owner look nice amount here 38 million not bad so you got a good idea here that's one of the reason i use uh, this signal here that will give me a good good idea and one more thing i one of the things i did not cover is uh, you know again in the maps area in the maps you, know, you get uh, one view here this view if you're not happy with this view, you could look at the bubble view. You get a bubble view here. Look, it tells you um, how are the stocks doing. For example, Dollar Tree went higher. Look, it's uh, above, um, you know, above um, many of these names here. You could also, you know, change some of these things here. You could say bubble chart by market cap. That's what's going on. One of the highest market cap is Alphabet here. Then you got Amazon. You can get the bubble size of size of the bubble by market cap here, and you know you might you might change certain things. You might say, you know what, I want only technology sector, and um, you could do it that way also here. Um, bubble chart sector industry. You could uh, look at many things here, and uh, you know you might say I want only S and P 500, or I want to say only technology stocks. I'm a technology guy. Look, we got Apple, biggest one here. And I like this, uh, you know, as you hover on them, it tells you a small chart. That's one thing I love about uh, Finviz here. That's a great one here. <clears throat> so with that, I think we got a good overview of Finviz and various features. Um, now what we'll do is we'll just quickly wrap it up. Let me go back to this PowerPoint slide here. From a wrap-up perspective, look, um, what I like about Finviz, um, it's a simple, very powerful software. Learning curve is very, very low. You can just click a couple buttons. You get a good uh, overview. And it, the, the screener itself is extremely simple. Uh, speed is very good here. Very good speed. That's one thing Finviz excels. It's the speed of the scanner. And they got nice advanced chart. You get the hover charts wherever you go. Click on the symbol. You get a nice chart right, right, right there. And you get to choose by various technical pattern like head and shoulder, inverse head and shoulder, trend line support, so on and so forth. You could search for any, any ideas. This is one thing I did not cover. I can quickly talk about that. Let me quickly go back here to Finviz. For example, you don't know what's going on. You say, you know what? I know there are a lot of space companies. I'm a space investor. You can just say space and boom, you get all the space stocks here open them in the scanner and you can say you know what i like to look at all the space stocks look you got a arc space etf here you got um, uh, astra space you know this is how you ideate you don't know what to look for but you know know which area for example you might like artificial intelligence you just click, click here say artificial so there you go you got artificial here just click on it now you see here open six items here click on it and you got few names uh, for artificial intelligence here and you could uh, research more on those and you might look at big data you might see data here say just data you get all the stocks with data on them uh, in the description look when it comes to data i like data dog look data dog is nice you could buy some data dog and you could buy some other stocks like terra data and so on so forth it's a very good way and you might say, you know what, I'm a big biotech guy or I want, I want to look at cancer stocks. Just say cancer on top here. You got all the stocks uh, with the cancer um, in them. Uh, you could say uh, there are 200 with cancer. 
could look at them. You might say, you know what, I want to look at biotech here and uh, go from there. So industry, say biotech uh, right here somewhere, biotechnology, you get all these biotech stocks. You might want to get a cursor view. You could look at snapshot here or even chart for that matter. You get all these biotech stocks. You can decide where to put your money and go from there. So with that, let me go back here. So we looked at, uh, we looked at, uh, let's see here. So we looked at, uh, technical pattern, uh, we looked at the stock ideas. So we looked at uh, seen a few stock ideas and how to ideate and get some good stocks, that's a good one. And you could uh, download the um, data through CSV like you talked about, low limitations. In the free version, you could only download limited data. In the paid version, um, elite version, you could download all the data, uh, create your own custom view, get all the data, download, do some research in your Excel spreadsheet or Google Sheets. You get various various technical indicators like short ratio, insider buying, selling, institutional buying, selling, so on and so forth. And you get um, yearly charts, quarterly charts of revenue, sales, shares outstanding, R&D investments, and so on and so forth. Those are all the powerful features that I, I like within FinViz. What I don't like, you know, sometimes, you know, it's a limited fundamental information. I've used uh, many other uh, software, uh, software, like one of my best is uh, <clears throat> Stock Rover. They got, you know, wealth of fundamental information here. But um, in FinViz, you, it's a little bit heavy on uh, um, in the technical information and um, not so heavy on the fundamental information. As an example, you will never find an Altman Z-score within FinViz and you will not find uh, you know, things like how is the stock doing comparing to, comparing to the industry and you will not even see a sales number you know, for, uh, for the company in the stock scanner. So that's why you know, it's limited fundamental information. That's one thing I don't like, uh, you know, FinViz. I think they should improve and add a little more fundamental um, statistics or metrics. And you are not able to create multiple custom views. I've used many stock scanning software. You are able to create multiple custom views. I might say, you know what, I want to create one custom view. You know, just to look at some fundamental metrics, I might create one more custom view. You know, for my technical, um, you know, um, scanning, you are not able to do that within FinViz. You get to have one custom view. That's pretty much. And you're unable to move the fields um, across. For example, I like, to, I like to see stock price just after the stock symbol. You cannot move. You get to stick with the, the custom view that, um, you know, uh, you cannot move the fields around and create it your own way. And uh, limited historic data in the scanner, you know, you get to look at up to one year of performance. You can see how the stock is doing in two years, five year, 10 year. And that's one thing I don't like to, I don't like. And customer support is not responsive. You know, I've been, um, you know, pinging customer support. You know, after you email them a couple of times, then they'll get back to you. But I've seen some other vendors like uh, Stock Rover, their customer support is very, very responsive. Whereas here, FinViz, you know, because their tool is good and fast, uh, they're a little bit uh, laxed or not so responsive when it comes to customer support. And last but not least is the limited product innovation. You know, many of the softwares in the you know stock research, they keep making new versions and new innovations you know, every month or two months, whereas FinViz, uh, so, you know, they, they are not doing too much changes. It's pretty much what it was very long time ago. They might, they might do some small changes here and there, but the innovation is not great uh, in FinViz. So in a nutshell, um, I will close it here. You know, if you're in for a quick um, and a nice software with a lot of uh, simplicity to use, visualization, I say go with FinViz. But if you also want some uh, fundamental data, fundamental metrics, that's what is lacking. So that's why I have in you know, a couple couple of these uh, scanning software. FinViz is one of my favorite, always go to because of its simplicity and easy to use. So with that, thank you very much. Happy investing and trading. Please subscribe.